In this video we shall talk about scanning for complex patterns in stocks. This is uh, not your usual MFI, RSI, stochastics. We are not looking at these indicators. Instead we use an algorithm to scan for really complex patterns. The philosophy being that instead of uh, hunting for patterns in stocks, we hunt for stocks which are at a given point in a certain pattern which is a powerful move. Specifically, we would be going by trend lines. The psychology behind trend lines is that uh, if you were to join two points where the stock recurves upwards, that is we do not take this, the stock goes down here, recurves upwards, we do not take this because there is a further breach of this line there would have been a breach of this line if we were to join it here this line has been breached so it has no meaning here we take this off so the stock touches here recurves upwards there has been no breach of this line in between these two points and then at a third point it touches and bounces off now this is a very powerful move the psychology behind this would be <coughs> the bulls and bears are constantly fighting in the market the bears bring it down to this point the bulls take over which means basically prices are being pushed upwards then this is where the bears bring it every time it goes down from a top we talk of it as the bears taking over every time it starts going up the bulls have taken over so the bulls have taken over from here and then the bears bring it down again to this point and the bulls bring it up again here now if you were to join a line between these two points where it recurves upwards what you have is a trend line this trend line psychologically in terms of market psychology would mean that somewhere along this line this price is considered worthy of buying so at this point people more people would think it's worth selling or there's a increased selling pressure the stock is not worth this much that is the prevailing market psychology at this point when you come here people think it's worth buying it so it goes up so basically you could say anything joining these two lines would be a point where the stock is considered worthy of buying when this happens twice and recurves upwards it doesn't mean much because any two points would give you a straight line it, it doesn't mean much in terms of a confirmation but should the same thing happen a third time that is sort of a confirmation that uh, this price is really the support level and uh, there is expected to be a major bull run on this the question is how do you automate a complex pattern like a triple touch what we do is we use an algorithm it's called the Nikras algorithm let me demonstrate what it does for instance we have the script India bulls and uh, what we are doing right now is we are automatically calculating the support and resistance levels using trend lines which comes from these high low lines that the program shall automatically draw on metastock this saves you a lot of time in that you do not have to sit and look at a stock and wonder what it's doing the program does it for you so here you have your highs and lows forming there what you had at this point is a low coming from this high here goes up retraces goes up again 
comes down to this point, retraces upwards, goes down. Now we draw a trend line and it's not difficult to see a triple touch forming here. Now the market psychology at this point is that the last war between the bulls and the bears took place here. It was settled here and the bears took over which means that this is a point you could see approximately this is another point of uh, th this is another turning point along this line so this is where a battle was won by the bulls this is an old support which becomes resistance now and uh, if this resistance holds the price comes down and this has been a support twice and forms a triple support here as the prices go up you would see a very shallow rise here in this region which is because people are waiting for this line to be breached here we want to breach this resistance level once this resistance is breached there is a sharp rise now this this is owing to this triple touch which took here took place here now a triple touch would mean that the prices would retrace upwards however it is very important for the prices to break this level the point that is the next resistance level needs to be broken once that is broken the prices rally upwards as you see here further along this chart if you inspect you discover that there is another triple touch that forms here now this is a triple touch if you were to join these lines here I'm sorry that would be the bottom prices now this bottom here the bottom here and the bottom here when you were to draw a straight line this almost touches this is less than a 1% divergence here so it more risk goes to show that you have another support level here after which the prices retrace very sharply now how would you predict that this is a good point for investment quite simply the last resistance point here was was just above your bounce back which means that uh, you are not too sure if it's going to break this resistance or not so you wait for a resistance breaking and then that's when people move and that's when the investors move in and then you have a very sharp rise here as opposed to a shallow rise before that here in this case when a triple touch is formed with the lows with the low prices what you have is a very sharp rise a reason being the previous resistance level is rather high there is no apprehension in the investors so there is a reasonably sharp rise here so this, this would be a good position another way to look at it is this entire band this region from here to here where your lows are that's your low here and then as you move this line down you have a low here so you have a very narrow band wherein you have had something like four bounce offs to the upside so this whole band here is sort of your support level it, it, it holds a very strong support in this region this further confirms a good position for investment here